Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Justin here from Ultimate Baseball Training. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about how to turn around a bad game. Because let's face it, baseball is a game of failure and you're going to have bad games. Maybe it's a conference game or a really important game that you want to play well in. Maybe you're playing against your rival school and you have high hopes and aspirations. Maybe you want to get you know several hits throughout the game. And then you go up there, you're first at bat and you strike out. Or you go out there, your first inning is a pitcher, and you, you, know, you get shelled. Or as a defender, maybe you make an error, you throw a ball away, ball goes between your legs, whatever. So the question is, how do we bounce back from that? Do we just give in at that point in the first inning after we strike out and just say, well, you know what, I guess today's not really my day. Is that what we do? Obviously not, right? You want to be a warrior, you want to battle. But in today's video, I wanted to give you some practical tips and advice so when things start going south, you can quickly turn them around because you know there's nothing worse than having a bad game. And yes, they happen in baseball, but there are a few things that we can focus on to really shorten the amount of time where you're going through a little slump and really minimize any sort of bad games that you do have. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. All right, so the very first tip that I have for you is refocus your energy towards the future, right? Forget about your past at bats. Forget about your mistakes that you made. Forget about the errors. If it's in the past, it's over. You can't control it. As much as I wish you could have a time machine and go back and maybe change some, some plays in baseball, maybe change some events that happened in your life, whatever the case may be, if it's in the past, it's over. It's done and over with. You can't change it. So instead of worrying about, man, I wish I would have been able to have that at bat back, forget about it. You're never going to be able to get that at bat back. And it's the same thing whether you're failing or whether you're succeeding, right? I love the quote, yesterday's home runs don't win today's games because it's so true. That's why I always really preach, never let the highs get too high and never let the lows get too low. You know, you have to worry about the present moment because the present moment is what's going to make up the future, okay? But that's the very first tip I have for you. So what? You make an error in the first inning, you strike out, you can be mad for you know a few seconds. You can think about, man, what did I just do there? Why, why did I swing at that pitch? You can think about the adjustments that need to be made, but when your next at bat comes around, when you go play defense in the next inning, you have to leave that in the past, in the dugout. Realize it's done and over with. You can't get that back, so it's time to move on. The second tip I have for you is hustle and play with a lot of energy, okay? And you can do both of these things, whether you're having a four for four day or an O for four day. That's the beauty of this, right? And baseball has a way of rewarding those players who work hard, who hustle and play with energy, okay? It takes zero skill to hustle and to work hard and to play with energy, so do it. You know, after the last out is made and it's your turn to go from hitting to playing defense, sprint out to your position because you're only gonna be able to play this game for so long, so make the most of it. Play with energy, bring the juice, and baseball, I promise you, is gonna find a way to reward you. All right, the third tip I have for you on how to turn around a bad game is be a good teammate. Again, you don't have to be playing well in order to be a good teammate, so be there for your guys. Cheer on your teammates, okay? Sacrifice for your teammates. And that actually includes laying down a sacrifice bunt or hitting a sack fly, moving a runner over. Be a good teammate, cheer for your teammates, and then do anything that you possibly can to help your team win. It's not all about you. You can go 0 for 4 and still get a win. I know you'd rather go 4 for 4 and really help your team out more. But bottom line, when, when things are going bad, don't just feel sorry for yourself. Don't throw a pity party for yourself. Do whatever it takes to help your team win in whatever facet that you can. The next tip I got for you, I really like this one. Have a release. What do I mean by a release? Well, let's say that you go out your first at bat and you strike out and it's a rivalry game. You really wanna play well. Maybe you know the pitcher on the mound, he's a buddy. You wanna play well, right? And you strike out. I'm not saying you should walk back to the dugout with a smile on your face and be all happy about that. No, that's just not the way that life in the game of baseball works. I realize you have emotions, you're a human being. I realize you're gonna be frustrated and that's okay. Now the thing is, go in the dugout and you know maybe at first, uh, you don't talk to anybody, you just go sit down really quickly for 30 seconds or so and you think about, maybe you're frustrated, oh, you get kind of mad and you think about, 
you know, how did that pitcher get me out? I swung at a bad pitch. He didn't even get me out. I, I wasn't ready to hit the first pitch. And then the second pitch, I fouled off a pitch that I should have crushed. And then the third pitch, again, I just wasn't really ready to hit. So bottom line, next time, I need to be ready to hit when I step in the box. So there I thought about exactly what I did wrong. I thought about the adjustment that needs to be made for my next at bat. And then here's the release. What it is, is my favorite release is taking off the batting glove. So when I'm mad, when I just struck out, when I popped up to the infield, right, and I'm really, really frustrated, go in the dugout, go by yourself. I'm not throwing gear or anything like that. I'm not taking it out on a, on a water jug, okay? But I go by myself and I sit there and I think about what went, what went wrong and then I think about how I'm going to make an adjustment my next at bat and then from there, I'm gonna take off my batting gloves. So they were on the entire time I was thinking about that and then I take off my batting gloves, I put them in my helmet and immediately when I throw those batting gloves in my helmet, it's done, it's over with, it's in the past and I'm moving on. So I think the release is just something that allows you to flip your frame of mind into, okay, the pass is gone, nothing I can do, good or bad, even if I hit a home run or I struck out, there's nothing I can do, I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna release this moment and move on to the next one. So have some sort of a release. Another tip I have for you is trust the process and realize that baseball is a game of failure. I mentioned that earlier in the video, but it's something that you really have to wrap your head around. We all want to succeed. We all want to go four for four at the plate. We all want to hit 400, right? But you have to realize baseball, it ebbs and flows. There's ups and downs. Never get too high, never get too low and realize, hey, if you succeed three times out of 10, 30% of the time, you're going to be an all-star. You might make it to the hall of fame. So you just always have to realize when you're having a bad game, you know, don't let the lows get too low. Don't, you know, go home and throw a pity party for yourself and uh, just completely change who you are just because you're having a little rough patch, right? Everybody goes through it. Major leaguers go through it. Heck, big league teams go through it. You saw the Dodgers who had an unbelievable regular season record. And how many games in a row did they lose? Everybody and every team has some sort of a slump. So just trust the process. You know, if you're struggling and you're in a little bit of a slump, go back to the fundamentals and continue to get better. Get one inch closer to your goals every single day. Trust the process. Trust that that hard work is going to pay off and it will. And the last tip that I have for you on how to bounce back from a bad game Guys, you have to have fun. This is a game, and I see this so much. Heck, I struggled with it too. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I didn't struggle with this from time to time, especially when I was not having a good game, but you have to have fun. Baseball is a game. 99% of you guys watching this video, you are not getting paid to play. Therefore, it is not a job, okay? And the saying, whether you love it or hate it, 99% uh, of us are going to go pro in something other than sports. It's totally true. So when you're out there with your friends, with your teammates, have a ball, okay? Hustle, compete your butt off, play with a lot of energy and juice, and realize that you're never going to get this moment back. One day, you're not going to be able to lace up the cleats anymore. One day, you're not going to be able to play catch with your favorite throwing partner. So just embrace the moment and try to have as much fun. And it's funny, the more fun that you have playing and the more loose and relaxed that you are, the better your results are going to be anyway, right? You can't play this game at a high level by being just completely stressed and tense at the plate or in the field or pitching, whatever the case may be. You watch the World Series, all those guys, they're on such a huge stage. They're playing in front of millions and millions of fans, so much on the line, and yet what do you see? You see the best players, the ones who are performing well, they're laughing, they're joking around, they're focused, but they're laughing, they're having a good time. It's a young boy's game, right? Continue to have fun, continue to work hard, continue to trust the process, and you'll be in good shape. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and before you go, for all you hitters out there, I actually created a free bat speed boosters workout. This is a workout that's designed specifically to help you improve your bat speed 5, 10, even 15 miles per hour. Uh, all you have to do to grab my free bat speed boosters workout is just click on the very first link below this video in the description. That'll take you to my website. I just need your email address and then I will immediately send you the free bat speed boosters. So do that now and get in the comment section below. Let me know, you know, if you enjoyed this video. Typically I'm down there doing Q&A, answering any sort of questions that you guys have. So get in the comment section. Let me know, you know, how do you like to bounce back from bad games or how do you like to get out of a slump? Maybe 
maybe you can help out some other players in our community. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up and be sure you're subscribed to the channel because we're coming out with new baseball videos every single week that I know you're not going to want to miss, all right? So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.